Our saint today is John of the Ladder. Uh, he was the abbot of Mount Sinai. He's really famous for a book called The Ladder of Divine Ascent. And in that book, he lays out the uh, experience of divinization. The, how do, what does one experience on the way to becoming like Christ? Um, but it's set in this uh, sixth century desert where the living conditions are really harsh. So if you read this book, it's pretty overwhelming that what these people were doing. Uh, it's kind of like if you've seen um, pictures of Sudan, right? Movies where they show how harsh the living conditions are in the desert there where the people are really, really skinny and have very little to eat. Now imagine that was the world you lived in and then from there you wanted to become ascetic. <laughs> it's pretty harsh stuff. Um, but nonetheless, nonetheless, uh, it's very wise stuff because we, we tend to think of our spiritual life as something that, um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm plodding along, God's doing whatever he's doing, uh, but basically most of the time uh, I'm paying attention to other things. And yeah, I, of course, I, you know, I go to church on Sundays or most Sundays. I, you know, I, when things get hard, I pray to God. This is how it is for most of us. But what he teaches us is that, well, actually, that's just a step on a ladder. And you know what? There's nothing to be ashamed of to be on the bottom rung. Right? Because as, oh, I forgot who said it, somebody famous, I read it, so it's not mine. But he said, he said, said to, to have your foot on the first step is to already to begin to leave this world. So it's okay to be a beginner. In fact, it's probably where most of us spend our whole life. Somewhere hovering between the ground and that first step, you know. <laughs> but again, we're on the ladder. We're on the way. And God has eternity to perfect us. Now, there are some people who just can't get enough of God in this life. They just can't get enough. And they're just hopping their way up that ladder. Right? <laughs> You find, find most of these people in monasteries, but not exclusively. You can run into very holy people everywhere in any walk of life. And just because someone is a in a monk, in a monastery, it is no guarantee that they've even begun to climb the ladder. Don't be fooled by the beard and the dress, right? Don't, the black dress, the, the cassock, right? Don't be fooled by that. Right? The evidence of a holy life is holiness. Not a long beard, not a cassock, not uh, being a priest, right? The evidence of holiness is, holiness is holiness, right? And this is manifest in what we call virtues, right? Love, joy, peace, Patience, kindness. By the way, joy is a real important one. It's right there up the top, right? 
If your Christian life is a drudgery, then probably there's, you're not approaching it correctly. I was reading a, a, one of my favorite contemporary saints, Elder Emilianos. From, he was the fellow who's, along with Elder Vasilios, responsible for the revival of Mount Athos. You know, at the beginning of the 20th century, there was just a handful of monks on Mount Athos. It had really deteriorated. There wasn't, the monasteries were falling apart. It was a mess. And these two uh, abbots, uh, Emilianos and Vasilios, who will almost certainly be uh, recognized as saints, are the ones responsible for the revival of Mount Athos. And, and Elder Emilianos, his works are now being translated into English and being published. So I have the first volume of his complete works now in English. Uh, and he, he, in the beginning, he talks about what's necessary for the revival of monasticism. But this is true for all of us. And he talks about what, it, and one of the things he talks about is it has to be a joy. If, if you're seeking of God, if there isn't some joy in it, if there isn't some peace in it, if it doesn't manifest some kind of virtue, then, then you're probably not doing it the right way. Right? So, uh, so John of the Ladder, he was a very wise man. He, was, he talked about uh, this journey to God that our... Our Christian life isn't a static thing. This, have you ever wondered why just about the time you get, get things figured out, they fall apart? Right? Have you ever wondered why that is? Because it's a journey. Because, it's a, because we take one step, but then we have to take another step. Just because we take a step doesn't mean we've arrived. It means... There's another step. And that's OK if we can relax and accept the fact that this life is a journey. Right? Very few of us arrive. There are some saints who can get to the top of the ladder while they're in this life. And, and they're famous. And they do miracles. And it's pretty awesome, the things they do and say. But most of us spend our life, you could say, kind of hovering between the ground and that first step. Sort of taking that first step, maybe slipping off the rung, and, and stepping up again. You know, one of the things John of the Ladder said about failure, and I'll, I'll end with this. I could go on and on. He's one of my favorites. He said, it's given to demons to fail or to fall and stay down. It's given to angels never to fall. And it's given to human beings to fall and get back up again. You see? So this is our life. We fall, we get back up again. We fall, we slip. We, we make a little bit of progress. But then things fall apart. But we, we keep taking the step. We keep taking the step. And God receives that. That is our offering to him. And he, by his grace, saves us. The way we show God that we want to be saved is we keep taking the step. We keep taking the step. And he, in his mercy and his love, saves us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.